Hello, my name's Chloe. This is my story how my life turned into a cheap Indian series with a sad ending. Why sad? Because only in series do lost kids turn out to be the heirs to the throne. In reality, everything is much more diverse. I was thought to be a smart kid, but for some reason, I never asked how two typical Scandinavians with pale skin, red hair, and blue eyes had got a black kid. Well, how to say, I did a couple of times, but then I watched a program about adopted kids and decided that my parents just took me. They didn't confirm my theory, but didn't deny it either. But somehow, I didn't need the truth. I'm not that curious. Plus, my life was as cool as possible. My parents were as good as gold. Though sometimes, they treated me much more strictly than my younger brother. For example, even after I turned 16, I wasn't allowed to go out late at night, go to parties, and date boys. They also told me about early pregnancies when I was 14, and they always put condoms in my bag. For a long time, I couldn't understand why. And then, it dawned on me. A black girl in a white area, alone, in the evening? I don't know what it's like at your place, but in my country, you can get in trouble with even much less noticeable looks. So, I thought the rules were quite okay, and I wasn't going to break them. By the way, my parents were never against it if my friends and I had pajama parties. And at 18, I moved from my parents' house to the college campus. In fact, I could stay at home, but I wanted an adult and independent life. And what else brings up adulthood, if not a student dorm? That's right. And at some point, after some party, I realized someone was watching me. Literally. I noticed different people following me when I got out of the college territory. And they weren't just some random passers-by. They were chasing me everywhere. Where I went, where I came from, what I bought, and all that jazz. The thing was that these people were black. There are a few of them in our town. Married couple of dentists with kids, one mechanic, and an old woman who worked as a nanny in a rich house. Well, and me, but I didn't count myself now. No, of course, some people are just tourists come here, but not in such numbers. And an accidental tourist is unlikely to follow an unknown girl, unless he's a pervert, of course. I told my parents about it at once. And we went to the police. At the police station, they asked me who I thought it was. I replied I wouldn't say boo to a goose for someone to follow me. Anyway, I never did anything illegal. I always obeyed my parents, went to bed no later than 11 in the evening, and was a good citizen. The policeman said that it was better to shoot the chasers on the camera phone and come all ready with the materials. I did that. The next time I saw the suspicious strangers, I carefully shot them on my camera, the first one, and then how he changed places with the other. And with this video, I went back to the station. Then, I was freaked out because my parents recognized the people following me. It turned out that dad wasn't always a bank employee. He worked in the bank security for as long as I knew. Once in his youth, he worked in a big city in the police, and he investigated a drug case connected to some black gangs. There was something about the sale and distribution. My parents didn't tell me much of it, for me not to know too much. And then, during one of the raids, he broke into the house of the drug dealers and saw a baby in a crib. In the next room, they were making something, and the kid, lonely and unwanted, was laying on some kind of mattress. Well, Dad felt pity for the baby. He just took the kid from there and left while the others searched the building. Then, he wanted to send him to the orphanage. Well... I would have been sent there anyway. He brought the kid home, and mom decided to keep him. Or rather her. Yeah, that was me. Then dad got a reprimand for taking out the evidence. He quit the police force. He and my mom adopted me, and then we moved to a quiet town, where no one knew about their past, and didn't ask any questions. But now, the drug dealers were out of prison. So, someone from the gang remembered they had a kid. Well, it was no longer difficult to find my dad. My parents weren't hiding anyway because they weren't criminals. They just didn't want any gossiping, so they wouldn't have left the big city. Plus, as luck would have it, I look very similar to my biological mom, just like two peas in a pod. I'm not speaking about my age. The chasers were caught and interrogated, not without dad's help. It turned out the chasers weren't just some ex-criminals, but my relatives, my biological brothers and father, 
They wanted to see how I lived, then to ask for money or maybe get me into a family business. Well, something like, daughter, we suffered so much, bad people stole you, and all that jazz. I don't know. Maybe if my family had been a good one, it would have worked. And if we take things like this, then no. I was in shock for a long time. No, the fact that I was adopted didn't hurt me at all. I understood it was a long time ago, as I told you at the beginning. But the fact that my parents stole me surprised me pretty much. You know, such a state when you're scared and want to laugh at the same time. But I talked to them and hugged them. I felt much easier and I'm not angry with my parents, especially after such truth. Maybe if not for them, I wouldn't have been alive. So guys, love your parents. Write your family stories in the comments, especially if they're as ridiculous as mine. And remember, your real mother isn't the one who gave birth to you, but the one who raised and gave you everything she had.